Yeah, so yeah, I was gonna say, um, yeah, it's like, cause on when you watch the show to catch a predator, Chris Hansen be like, "Well, you have a daughter, right? Yeah, w- would you want some grown man talking to your daughter?" They say no, and I would agree with that. Only way I would be down with it for a grown man to talk to my underage daughter is if I know if is if I had the ability to see the future, and I know that it's not going to affect her in any negative way, and it's going to actually be a cool experience for her then I wouldn't give a fuck, you know, because as a father, you just don't want no girl um, talking. You just don't want um, your your daughter talking to any guy, even if it's the, the same age as her, let alone per someone older, because you're just very protective because you being a person as a, a male, you want to fuck everybody else's daughter, but you don't want nobody fucking your daughter. So it's just you be having a personal bias between you know, you want to <laughs> you want to fuck everybody else's daughter. I- I'm trying to fuck some people's daughters, but you don't you don't want nobody fucking your daughter. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is as a guy when you become a dad. Now you not, now you have that personal bias. <laughs> you know, when you was fucking all the girls in the streets, it's all good. But when you get a daughter, mm-mm, y'all ain't touching y'all ain't, y'all dick ain't touching my daughter. You know, that's just you having that personal bias. You know what I'm saying? Um. <laughs> um Damn. Uh, yeah. But um, I mean, but you gotta understand, man. Like, you know, your daughter's gonna fuck anyways. The boy that she's dating wants to fuck her anyways. I mean, you just gotta accept that for what it is. I mean, no matter how nice they want to act towards you, hey, Mister T Sizzle, you you know deep down he wants to fuck your daughter. This is what just like how you fucked your daughter's mom and you made her. That's what he wants to do. To, like, it's the same shit. So you can't even get mad about it because you was on the same shit when you was younger. Or you might still be on that shit even when you're older, you know? If you didn't get married and settled down, you might still be on that shit too. So you can't have that personal bias. But I understand because that's your daughter. So you have that personal biasness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, I wouldn't care, to be honest, unless... Well, well, typically, yes, I would. Like I said, I'm saying... If I had some ability to see into the future and I know it wouldn't affect her, then I wouldn't care. Um, but if I know it would affect her, then or or based on the fact that we don't have the ability to see into the future to know that, then just I don't even want the chance of that even to happen just in case it will affect her in a negative way. So I'm going to be like, nah, because we don't have that ability to do that. You know, because with age of consent, I, I'm aware there's gray areas in that situation. But based on the fact that we can't really know for sure if a minor fucking with an adult is going to affect them. Um, I guess I can kind of understand why that the law is 17 or 18, because we don't know um, if a minor is able to um, consent or not. I mean, cause, because we don't know if it will affect them or not in the future or whatever. So I get it. Because most people at 18 know what the hell they want to do. And most likely the shit won't affect them at all at that age. Whereas if they're like 15, 14, it, it could possibly. Not in every case, but I mean, so I guess I understand or whatever. But still, I mean, not everybody that fucks with a minor is a pedophile or a, a sex or a predator or whatever you want to call it. I mean... You know, you know, um, yeah, I don't think so, in my opinion, but I get it that we can't see into the future to really know if a person, you know, I, th- I think I fucked that part up right there. Yeah, I did. Cause that part's like that. And this part. Yeah. I kind of fucked that up, but yeah. So whatever, man, I don't know, but long story short. Yeah, but not every not everybody who talks to a uh, minor is a predator, in my opinion. Um, but this is my opinion. So, uh, yeah, so that's all I want to say, man. Um, but still, I'll recommend people to really not do it just in case you are mistaken. I look bald right here. Just in case you're mistaken. And you don't know, and uh, you know, and you can, 
uh, potentially affect them and you wasn't trying to affect them, but you know, you just like assume, oh, that's because she consented. That means it's all good. You wasn't really trying to be a predator, but because you assume just because every minor consents, that means that they're, that means that they're able to actually go through with it. Now you uh, mistakenly made yourself a predator because you didn't, you know, because if you fuck three 15 year old girls and um, all three of them, it didn't affect them in the future, but they all, and all three of them consented Then the fourth one, she consented, but it affected her in the future. You're like, oh, oh, I fucked three of them. It didn't do anything to them. Well, what, what, what about the fourth one? And it actually affected her. So, you know, just to make yourself not mistakenly traumatize somebody, I'll just say, just talk, just don't even fuck with minors, bro. That's just my opinion. Just because you, because you know, you don't have, because you technically don't have the ability to really foresee into the future to know if you're talking to them is really going to affect them or not. You know, so. You don't want that small chance of it to where you might actually do it. So, yeah, I'll just say this, leave it alone. Just talk to motherfuckers around your age, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I want to say, man. I'm out of here.